What I also could do, though, is rather than just having standard operating system desktops, I could be a bit more clever and create my own desktops, because again, all this device is doing is rendering any kind of graphics I want to the particular desktop. None of the OS is actually running on there. So what I have done here is actually created, again, a very kind of seasonal uh, menu here that we actually use to show around Christmas time, a kind of kiosk application, uh, which actually provides, for example, lots of different applications depending on the authentication of this particular card. So this one happens to be a kiosk that allows me to run things like an internet browser. Uh, so again, I can launch the simple internet browser that we saw earlier on. Again, just a very simple kiosk mode application. But also I can provide this particular user with other restricted access. So maybe a restricted Java desktop, a Red Hat desktop. Uh, for example, I might want to give a restricted XP desktop to these types of users. So anyone who has this temporary card might have access to restricted applications with an XP rather than the full applications that I have with my card. I have Star Office, Microsoft Office and a ton of other applications. This one is very much a restricted desktop that only has a certain amount of applications. What I do now is actually use this temporary contractor card to give someone access temporarily uh, on our open kiosk here, some access to do some work. So again, they've got a kiosk session like we saw earlier, except this kiosk session happens to be a very restricted XP desktop. Uh, what we're going to do though is only allow them access, for example, for a day, week or a month. This particular user is very lucky, they only get access for 30 seconds, or maybe 20 seconds actually, because it's a demonstration and want to show the capability. So if I come over to this particular device and put in my contractor card, I'm given my contractor access, which again I could have second factor authentication if I want to validate who they really are, but this particular contractor just gets a standard kiosk application to a restricted desktop. And in this restricted desktop, they can run the restricted applications that they're allowed to use. So let me just launch something here just to show well, that's real as well. So if I launch something like a, an Internet Explorer, for example. What we will now see within about 20 seconds or so is that session will actually time out and that card will time out. So for example, this is like deprovisioning the card after its use after a day or a week, depending on how long the contractor has been uh, had access. So here we can see it's timed out. Uh, they need to add more money. Uh, it could be used, for example, in a hospital where they want to actually buy services or uh, in a public office type environment, shared office. Earlier on, we looked at also one of the devices. So I want to show you how easy it is if one of these devices actually fail, ease of maintenance to actually replace one of these. These have got to be the quickest devices in the world to actually replace if something goes wrong. It really is something that can be done by the facility staff and inside somewhere we have over something like 30,000 of these devices deployed globally. Uh, our facility staff and cleaners, for example, will replace these. Uh, does not need a massive amount of maintenance. So if a device actually happens to go wrong, uh, it really is a simple case of just replacing the different cables on the device. So again, I can just simply pull out the uh, screen cable here, put the screen cable into the uh, device, uh, pull out the network connection, put that into the device, pull out the integrated keyboard and mouse connection uh, through the single USB here, and then finally the power. Now what I've actually done here is when a new device is plugged into this particular network, I've said to basically lock down this device uh, and provision it with a lockdown screen. So it goes off to the network, asks for its uh, information, and it's just going to be locked down so no one can actually do anything with it. So again, we can now see it's a lockdown device. But if I was to take my card now out of the failed device and put it into the new device that I've just provisioned, again, I can simply put my card back in there, again, because the network connection is already authenticated. It's now basically brought me up, signed into my particular desktop. So it really is a simple device which really eases the maintenance side of having to basically replace these kind of devices when they go wrong. But the fact is they don't really go wrong. The mean time between failure is 22 to 23 years. And we have had customers that say that have been running these for nine years now and still rendering different types of desktops to the same kind of device that they basically made their investment in nine years ago.